Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. All right, hello and welcome everybody. It is, uh, it's good to be back. So um, if you can hear me, say that it's uh, okay in the chat, just so that I know that everything's okay. And uh, then we'll get into it. So uh, just say yes, if you can hear me in the chat, please, just so that I know everything is good. And yes, all right, everybody can hear me, nice. Good to see everyone today. So, hello and welcome to another Wednesday. Today is Wednesday the 14th, I believe. Yes, it is. It's the 14th of March, 2018. My name is Karim, and you are watching another Smart English Live English class with me. So, uh, welcome everybody, and thank you for coming. I see a lot of people in the chat. Um, so, let's just say hi to everyone. So, who is in here today? Dun, 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 dun. So, of course, uh, Rave D is here. Hello, Rave D. Eunice is here. Hi, Eunice, and thank you for coming very much. JST, or JST, is also in the chat. Uh, Radwan is here. Hello, Radwan. Gosia is here. Rosa, hello, Rosa. It's very nice to have you back again. I haven't seen you in a long time. Um, this, is not, uh, this is not our regular Rosa. One of my usual suspects, but uh, this is uh, this is uh, this is another Rosa that uh, she's moderating today in the chat. So thank you very much, Rosa, for moderating and help us uh, helping us out. Uh, who else do we have? We have uh, Sara. Hello, Sara. Thank you for coming so much. We have somebody whose name is in Russian. I'm guessing this this looks like the Russian alphabet. 
So uh, I don't know who you are, but uh, welcome, person whose name uh, is in Russian. Uh, who else do we have in here? Mick. Hello, Mick. I don't think I've seen you before. Thank you for coming to the class, and uh, I hope you stick around. Who else do we have? Pinar is here. Hello, Pinar. And I think I saw Pilar also. Yes, there she is. Hi, Pilar. And thank you for coming to the class. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's the other Rosa? Lolly is here. Hello, Lolly. Alan is here. Hello, Alan. Roa. I think that's Roa. So, uh, hello, Roa. And thank you for coming to the class. NNRR. Lots of very uh, interesting names. NNRR is, uh, is also here. Salwa is here. Hello, Salwa, and thank you for coming to the class. Louisa is here. Hello, Louisa, and thank you for coming. Galen is also in the class today. Zabava, Stefan. I like that name, Zabava. Zabava. I don't know why. It just it, it sounds interesting. I like it. Zabava. Hello, Zabava, and thank you, uh, thank you for coming to the class. Ah, da, 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 da. ah there she is. Clinera is here. Hello, Clinera. Thank you for coming again. Dun, 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 dun. Judith, of course, one of my usual suspects. Judith is in the chat. Another person with a Russian name that I don't know how to pronounce is also in the chat. Hello. Um, Ramyar is also here. Lots of new people. That's, uh, that's cool. I've been getting new people, I think, for the last like month and a half, two months consistently. It's been, uh, it's been nice. I like seeing new faces and new people to get to know that, uh, that come and join the, the family. Munira is here. Hello, Munira. We also have... Who else is here? Mahmoud. Ooh, Mahmoud. Virtual high five to Mahmoud. And you guys will find out why in, uh, in a second. Whoa, I almost dropped my coffee. Uh, Anatoly is here. Hello, Anatoly. Thank you so much for coming from Ukraine. Hello. Thank you for coming, Anatoly, from Ukraine. Uh, Julian is now called Smart Gaming with Julian. He's just letting everybody in the chat know that that's, uh, he's the same person. Um, and uh, I have to say my condolences go out to Julian. If you guys don't know, Julian's, um, Julian's grandmother passed away um, last week. So um, I'm very sorry for that, Julian, and uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Um, but thank you for coming today. I appreciate it a lot. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so uh, so let's uh, let's get down to business. So you guys um, probably know by now. Nulin uh, Nulin is asking what's le what's today's lesson is going to be. Um, actually, I'm going to do vocabulary today. I've been doing grammar I think for such a long time now, and I just I just I just want to do something different, right? So let's uh, we'll, we'll do some vocabulary today from one of the units in the uh, in the Smart 120. Um, Oh, D Julian's dog also passed away two days ago. Rough, um, very rough week for Julian. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Julian. His dog's name was uh, Sargi. Sargi or Sargi. Ali is also in the chat. Hello, Ali, and thank you for coming so much. All right, so um, let's get down to it. I'll give you my spiel, and then we will get into today's lesson. And, uh, and I'll tell you who won movie quote of the week last week. And it's not, believe it or not, it is not the normal or the usual person who wins. Actually, uh, speaking of the normal person who wins, I don't see Summer in the chat today. I don't know if Summer is here or not. I didn't see her name. But uh, believe it or not, guys, Summer did not win Movie Quote of the, of the Week last week. I think somebody finally broke Summer's 14 weeks um, of winning. Um, Omar, hey, Omar, thank you so much for coming. Omar, Omar used to be an old student at CCEL, so he was, uh, I saw him in person actually before, and uh, I think he's back in Saudi Arabia right now. But thank you so much, Omar, for coming and for passing by today. Um, Noor is also here, hello, Noor. Hello, Amina from Somalia. Ooh, I think you're my first student from Somalia, Amina, so thank you so much, I uh, appreciate that. Thank you for coming to the class. Uh, all right, so let me, uh, let me just go small so you guys uh, can see what I am talking about. So I think I need to press on that button. So pow, and there we go, I'm small. Okay, so, uh, so here we go. So as I said before, let me just take this stuff out of the air. Oh, thank, thanks, Julian, thanks for the nice, uh, na thanks for the nice comments. It, uh, it brightens up my day, I, uh, I appreciate it a lot. So you guys are watching, of course, on the Smart English channel, which uh, you can see me on right now. Please, if you have not done so, 
click the subscribe button, click the bell button, click all the buttons that you can click on the screen. We, uh, we like it when you guys do that <laughs> and we appreciate it very much. And thank you so much for helping us break 100,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it feels good to break 100,000 subscriber. And let's go for the next benchmark, hopefully. Um, so come check it out, uh, come check us, sorry, out over there, please subscribe to our channels. If you go all the way down, you'll find my face. Click on my face and it will take you to my personal page, which is called Smart English with Kareem. You can also subscribe to me over there, hit the bell button over there, and you will get some different videos than the ones that I do on the, uh, on the Smart English channel. So, uh, so yeah, so I'd like it if you can also come and appreciate, uh, and I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to me over there. Also, for those people who don't know, I have a private channel on YouTube. It is called Food AF. So if you like to eat, if you like food, if you're interested in food at all, I would, uh, I would like it if you come and check out my, uh, my cooking show. I, uh, I cook and uh, I enjoy it. So sometimes I film it and I make some episodes about cooking. So um, I'd really like it a lot if you guys come and subscribe to my food channel. So it's called Food AF and you can find it very easily if you just search on YouTube Food AF. It's usually the first stuff that comes up. Rave D says, don't talk about food. <laughs> He's probably hungry. <laughs> um, well, I'll, I'll tell you, Julie, in a second. I'll tell you in a second. Uh, we also have a Facebook group, so uh, please come and check us out on the Facebook group. It's a nice active group where uh, people uh, post a lot of questions. Uh, they make friends. Um, lots of people that really help out each other, and uh, it's a really nice group. It's called Learn English on Facebook with Smart. Smart, of course, is S M R. T, right? So learn English on Facebook with Smart. Um, also, let me share with you guys. So I'll post this in the chat right now. So I'm going to give you the link to our Discord page. And this is the Discord page. So you can come and check it out. Ah, Ju Julian is plugging me everywhere. I appreciate it, Julian. Julian's my main man. He's got my back. Th thanks a lot, Julian. Um, so come and join us at Discord. Discord is a nice uh, place where we can, um, basically smart. We created a channel for ourselves. We have a lot of chat groups in there. You guys can come in, chat, um, connect with each other. It's still growing, so give it some time. But when it starts to grow faster, hopefully it's going to be much more active than it is right now. But it's nicely active right now, I would say. Um, and there's the link for you guys, so you can click on the link and it will take you there and then you can join Discord and it's totally free, so it will cost you nothing. So please come join the family um, over there. Hannah is, uh, Hannah, <laughs> Hannah says I just ruined her diet. Why? I just, I just showed you pictures, Hannah. I didn't give you any food. Besides, I have some, uh, I have some healthy meals on here that you can cook like my, uh, where is it? Like my bean salad, for example. That's very healthy. You should try that or my better baked potatoes. Also very healthy. <laughs> so I hope you give that stuff uh, a try. Beatrice, hello Beatrice, thank you for coming. We appreciate it. So as I said, don't forget also join us on the Discord. Now for, uh, for today, or actually before today, let's do the movie quote of the week for last week. So believe it or not, last week the impossible happened. Somebody beat our champion, Summer. So Summer, if you guys don't know, Summer Yusuf has, uh, has been winning Movie Quote of the Week for 14 weeks in a row. And she looked or she seemed to be, uh, to be unbeatable. Yeah, Julian is saying finally. I know, right? It took, it, it took 14 weeks, 14 weeks, over three months. Nobody could beat Summer. And finally, last week it happened. It happened. So congratulations to Mahmoud and Mahmoud, you're in the chat, I think. Yes, I saw you. So Mahmoud uh, got the answer correct. Um, so last week, this was the quote that I gave you guys. So a woman is talking to a man and she says to him, I love you. And the man says, I know. And uh, of course, that's a very classic, very, very classic quote from the movie. Like, uh, where is Mahmoud's comment? There it is. So this is from Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, right? So Star Wars. The Empire Strikes Back. So very classic movie. I'm sure everybody knows this. If you don't, go watch it. It's a classic. It's a nice movie. And that's where this quote is from. So congratulations, Mahmoud, on winning uh, movie quote of the week and uh, pushing Summer 
out of her throne. So virtual high five to Mahmoud, everyone. Good job. So let's see who's going to win this week. Now uh, I'm curious, is Mahmoud going to be our new uh, reigning champion? Or is uh, Samar going to reclaim, that means take back, her, uh, her title? So we will, uh, we will find out, I guess, uh, this week. So stick around to the end of the lesson today, and I will give you the new movie quote of the week for, uh, <laughs> for this week. All right. So before I get into it, uh, last week I was, uh, I, was, I, was, I was telling you guys in the chat that I had some beef with uh, Julian, which means uh, I have something that I want to complain about, right? Or I have a problem with Julian, or I have something like that. Um, oh, Omar is saying, hey Kareem, I just wanted to say that my friend from Saudi is coming to Vancouver and he's coming to CCAL this summer, which is cool. Um, so I hope you get to meet him. Yeah, pro I probably will. I'm, uh, I'm here every day. I don't, I, don't, I don't go anywhere. I'm here every single day, Omar, so I'll probably meet him, yes. Um, Hannah is asking, what's the catch? Ooh, what's the catch about what? I don't know what you're talking about, Hannah. Uh, nah, Julian, don't worry about it. So I'll explain. So my beef with Julian is uh, is not a big deal, really, right? It's uh, I was just teaching you guys uh, an expression to have beef with someone. Um, okay, so this is the beef, Julian. Very simply, uh, the last three videos that I made before last week, so not last week's video, the three videos before that, um, they got uh, flagged, or not flagged, they got demonetized uh, from from YouTube because uh, because I used your song in it. So please, Julian, change your settings on uh, on the song. Uh, we, I mean, thank you. I appreciate that you let us use your song and that you wanted us to use it on the channel. But um, we got a flag from YouTube, which is the reason why I did not play your song last week, right? So I'm not going to play your song today. Also, um, I'm going to give you a chance uh, to fix the settings. And uh, once you do, um, I'm not going to have any problems playing your song again. But for now, I can't play your songs. For those of you who don't know, Julian is in a band and he makes some music. And uh, I actually like the music very much. And uh, I used to play it on the channel uh, when I left you guys to do some exercises and uh, the music that I play in the beginning. So yeah, I know, Julian. No, that's no, OK. You don't have to apologize. I'm sure you didn't do that on purpose. Um, but I'm just giving you a heads up, right? So just fix the, uh, fix the settings, make sure that uh, it's okay for other people or for us to, uh, to actually use your song in the video. And, um, and then uh, I, I, actually, I, I actually am sad because I like your song and I like, I like listening to it. So uh, fix it and, uh, and I'll go back to using your, uh, your music. And that's it, that's all the beef that I had with you, Julian. See, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't such a big deal. Okay, so this week, Ladies and gentlemen, let's do some vocabulary. So, um, uh, AH, oh man, how, how do I even say your name? I have no idea. So, HDHDH uh, space DNDNDND, oh <laughs> my god, is saying, uh, uh, this class is too late. Can you please make it a little earlier? And um, the quick answer is no. <laughs> Not because I'm trying to be mean, but um, I've said this many times before, right? This is, this is the only time that I have free during my week, um, Wednesdays from 3 o'clock. Um, to be honest with you, like, I really just, I, 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 this is the only time slot in my week that I'm free that I can come in and do the smart classes. Um, and I know that there will always be somebody in the world where my time is not going to be the greatest for them, right? And we, we can't avoid that, right? Because we are a huge international group of, uh, of people and uh, you guys are all over the world. So somebody is always going to be unhappy with the time that, uh, that I stream the lessons. But that's why we keep the lessons on smart, right? So if you miss my lesson or if my lesson is too late for you, I, I completely understand. You don't have to come and watch it. Um, I'll miss you guys, but uh, you can always watch it later, right? Or you can always watch it when it's uh, convenient for you. So I hope that uh, you understand the reason why H D H D H D. You know who you are. Your name is too long. I'm not going to say all of that. <laughs> Gertrudis, hello, Gertrudis, and welcome to the chat. Thank you. We're doing vocabulary today with Gertrudis. Uh, Rave is from Kurdistan. Ramyar. Hello, Ramyar. Thank you for coming to the class. I appreciate it. 
Okay, so like I said, I've been doing uh, grammar for I don't know how many months now. It's been it's been a long time that I've been doing grammar. So just uh, just to change things up, right? Just uh, I want to break from grammar. So let's do some vocabulary today. So today I'm going to be doing vocabulary from unit seven in Smart One Twenty, which is the intermediate ish intermediate ish kind of level in uh, in Smart English. And uh, Unit 7's vocabulary is going to be talking about art and music today. So we're going to be talking about art and music. Um, I think, oh, I think you're talking, okay, okay, sorry, I thought you were talking to me. You guys are talking with each other, which is cool. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it. Today we're going to be talking about art and music. So let's go through the vocabulary. So let's begin. All right, so art, remember, art and music is basically the theme, right? So we're going to be talking about things that are related to art and music. Let me take a swig of coffee, ah, and then let's begin. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, thank you, the craziest crazy. I love you too, man. I love you too. Thanks so much. I no, really, I appreciate the comment. That's very, uh, that's very kind of you to say. I really, really appreciate it. Um, okay, let's begin. So the first word, let's, let's get into this or we will not finish today because vocabulary lessons are usually longer than my even normal longer lessons. So, so let's get into it. Okay, first word today that we are going to go over is... Admire, right? To admire, right? Admire, admire. I really, let's, let's take a look at the example. I really admire you for all the work you do with helping the poor, right? I really admire you. Why am I admiring you? Because of all the work, all of the probably volunteer work that you do to help um, the poor. So what, is, uh, what does it mean to admire? Something or to admire some one, right? You don't only have to admire people, you can also admire things. Um, <clears throat> I admire the view. Yes, you can definitely say that, Gosia. You can say, I, I really admire the view here. Or you can say, I'm admiring the view. So admire can be used um, with, with, with different meanings. So the most common meaning for admire is when you have respect. Or something right so if you if you really like and respect something a lot you say that you admire it and that's usually when you say uh, when you're talking about people right so if you say I really admire this person all you're saying is I really re I have a lot of respect for that person um, some people use admire in a way that means I like something um, but I would say that that is much less common right it's more common to have the meaning of respect now you can also admire art, for example. So you can be standing and looking at uh, a painting and you can say a sentence like, for example, um, let's say your friend calls you, hey, where are you right now? Or what are you doing right now? And you're looking at this painting and you're saying, well, right now I am admiring a very interesting painting, right? I'm admiring a painting. So when you're admiring a painting is when you're looking at something with interest, right? With a lot of interest and, and you're, you're, you're attracted to that thing. So that's why some of you said I, 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 can, I was admiring the view. And yes, you can say that, right? You're looking at the view. The view is beautiful. It looks interesting. It looks very attractive to you. So you're looking at it and you're enjoying it, right? You're admiring the view. So I hope that that word is clear. Um, no, Lolly. Thank you for the. Actually, that's a good question. Um, no, it's not a synonym to for or sorry for. Um, it's not a synonym for idolize. You, you can't exchange admire with idolize. Idolize is a bit more strong, right? Idolize is um, like when you idolize something, that means this person is your. Well, if you think about it, idolize comes from the word idol, right? And idols used to be things that people used to worship, right? That's, what, that's where the word idol comes from. It doesn't come from American idol, <laughs> but the original meaning of the word idol were uh, things, usually statues, that people used to worship. 
So when you idolize something is, uh, is, is when you have a feeling towards it similar to when you worship something so much, right? Admire is respect, right? So it's, it's, uh, it's a bit, I would say it's a bit less than idolize, but it's still a pretty good word to use. Um, oh, thank you, Ravdi. I admire the way Kareem teaches. Yeah, that's, that sentence works. You can definitely use admire like that. Um, can we use it in the continuous form? Yes, absolutely. You definitely can use it in the continuous form. No problems with that whatsoever. Okay, let's carry on. So the next word is album. So what is an album? Um, <clears throat> can you make the screen bigger, please? I don't think I can go any larger than this. I'm already at 150 zoom. If I go larger, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see anything. Yeah, I think that's as large as uh, I can make the screen, Abir. Sorry. I hope, uh, I hope you can see it a bit better now. Or try to go full screen. And um, if you're watching on your phone, turn it to the side. It'll become a little bit bigger and easier to see. Um, or go full screen on your uh, on your computer. Okay, so the next word is album. So what is an album? An album is basically um, when music bands or music artists, um, when they make a collection or a group of songs and they put it all on one... <laughs> Long time ago, we used to have cassette tapes and then we had uh, CDs. Um, and nowadays, of course, you can buy albums digitally. But I think, I mean, CDs still exist. And some I know some people that still buy CDs. But basically, when you buy a CD and the group of songs or the collection of songs on the CD for this band or for this artist, we call that an album. And uh, usually, the album will have a name or it will have a title or something like that. And, uh, and yeah, and we call that album. So for example, I don't know, let's, uh, let's take for example Pink Floyd. So you guys uh, can see how old I am. But um, so there you go. See, if I type Pink Floyd, you see the wall. The wall is the name of one of Pink Floyd's most famous albums, right? So, and it looks like this. Or actually the CD, yeah, the CD looked, uh, looked like this. So Pink Floyd is the name of the band or the group of musicians. Um, and this album is called The Wall, right? And it has a group or it has a collection of songs inside the album. So that's it. That's basically what an album is. Um, my grandmother's photo album was eaten by termites. Um, yeah, that's, a, that's another good use for the word album, yes. But um, in your case, you said photo album, right? But it still applies. What is a photo album? It's, an, it's, it's a group or a collection of photos that you put all in one place, right? And we call that a photo album. So yeah, very good. That's, uh, you, you can definitely use the word uh, album with photos. Very nice. It's nice. As, uh, as, uh, as Borat would say. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, Gosia knows uh, Pink Floyd because she said, uh, uh, actually, that the lyrics are all in all. It's just the, another brick in the wall. Actually, uh, l l let, me write, uh, let me write the lyrics for you because uh, you wrote, why is it telling me to sign in to chat? That's weird. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm having some technical problems. Uh, yes, yes, okay. It, uh, there we go. Now I can now I can chat with you guys. Uh, another brick. It's another brick in the wall, right? So I'll just type that in so you guys can see it. Another brick in the wall. And the beginning part says all in all, right? So all in all. And I hope that that actually is what they say. Because if it's not, people will, uh, will never let this go. But I believe that is what they say in the song. <laughs> All right. So let's, uh, let's carry on. Next word we have is an award, right? Or an award. Not an award, sorry. An award, right? An award. Um, oh, you're welcome, Gosia. Right? So what is an award, right? So actually, very recently, we had some very famous or very popular 
awards that were happening. I think it was last week, sometime, sometime last week or a few days ago, we had the Oscars, the Oscars, right? So where the, um, where basically um, actors go and they receive an award. This award is called an Oscar. And uh, there are many different reasons for it, right? So best movie, best director, best actor, best actress, best whatever, right? There's lots of them. So think of an award as a type of prize or a gift that um, you get for a specific type of achievement, right? Something that you did that people think you deserve to be recognized for. So they give you an award, right? To recognize your achievement. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, so yeah, li like a prize, right? It's, it's, a, it's a type of prize, basically. <coughs> Hashim just joined the chat. Hello, Hashim, and welcome uh, to the class. Thank you very much for coming. All right, next word is base, right? So this is not bass, it's base. So think of it as, uh, it's the same pronunciation as the word base, which is B-A-S-E, right? Or if you want another word that you might know, face, right? So it's the same, it's, it's the same sound, right? Or tone as base or face. That's basically what this word is. And a base, if you notice it says it's a noun, base is a type of guitar, right? So it's not the normal guitar. So, um, a normal guitar has six strings, right? So normal guitars that most people know um, has six strings, right? So this is uh, an example of a very classical or a very acoustic guitar. We call this type of guitar an acoustic guitar. Now, the bass guitar, the difference between a bass guitar and an acoustic guitar is, um, first of all, how many strings and second of all, the sound, right? So we call a bass guitar the bass because usually that's what people use um, when they're playing bass. So every time you hear bass in a song, um, not, not every single time, but usually it's somebody playing on the bass guitar, right? So it has a very boom, 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 boom type of sound. Um, and it only has four strings, as you can see in this picture, for example, right? So we call those bass guitars. I've tried many times to play bass guitars in my life, but uh, I just, I don't know, I never got into it. I prefer regular guitars much better, uh, much better than bass guitars. Um, but that's my personal preference. Okay, next word, the blues. The blues. So it says, you don't have to be in a sad mood to enjoy listening to blues. And you can even say to the blues, right? Some people will say the blues. And blues is a type of genre. Whoa, my mic setup almost fell. All right, everything's okay? All right. So <laughs> um, it's a type of music, right? A genre. And I think the word genre is a word that we will look at today in the G section. Yeah, there it is, right? So genre. And that's how you pronounce this word, a genre. Um, G-E-N-R-E. Uh, Julian has a good question. He's saying, what's the difference between an award and the word um, reward, right? So award, the word that we talked about today, and a reward, which is R-E-W-A-D. Um, Well, if you think about it, really, they're both similar in the sense that um, they are something that you get for um, because you, basically you did something good or something that people um, think you deserve to be compensated for. Um, the only difference, really, I would say is a, a reward is more is considered more for work, um, like um, for example like a bonus, right? Your bonus, let's say you're a salesperson at, at work and you, you did really well this month, you got a lot of sales. Um, your boss is not going to, if, if you get a bonus, if your boss says, oh, you did great this month and we're going to give you, I don't know, a thousand dollars bonus. 
that bonus is, you can't call it an award, right? It's, it's a reward. Um, so yeah, I would say rewards are usually for things that you are expected to do for your job or um, so, so, some, so, sometimes people give rewards when you find lost things. So I don't know, if you find a lost uh, animal, some people will say we will give you a reward if you return it to us. Awards are very different. An award usually will look like something, um, like the Oscars, right? And it will have your name, right? So it will have your name and it will have the reason why you got the award for. So yeah, both of them are things that you get for achievements, but they are different. You, 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 again, you can't, sometimes you cannot substitute these words for each other. So just remember, an award usually has your name and it's something that you display, something that you show people, right? That you did or that you got. So I, I, I hope that uh, clarifies it, Julian. Bisma is here. Hello, Bisma. You are very, no, you're not very late, Bisma. You're not very late. You, uh, we're already only at the, what? Fourth word. Or sorry, fifth word. So you're not you're not late. Um, <coughs> Julian is asking me how's the paperwork coming down. Yeah, actually, I did a lot of progress. Uh, progress, Julian. So um, so this is uh, this is what this is what Julian is talking about. Julian's Ju Julian's talking about all of uh, all of this stuff. So this is these are just my midterm tests. Um, I'm actually doing not bad, Julian. I only have I only have these left. So just this much left. And then I'll be done. Uh, but, but this is only the midterm tests. I still have to check assignments and homeworks and a lot of other, <laughs> a lot of other things. It never finishes. Um, uh, yeah, G Gertrudis has a decent way of talking about the differences between an award and a reward. Um, so she's saying an award is symbolic. And that is true. An award usually is symbolic. It's a symbol. It symbolizes something. It represents something. And usually, whatever achievement it is that you did. And a reward is generally money, right? So a reward is generally, yeah, it's most of the time it's money or something that has value um, or a product or a service. It can be a trip that you win somewhere, something like that. Yeah, that's not a bad, uh, that's not a bad way of, uh, of explaining it. Mahmoud says, Kareem, you need a reward. Thanks, Mahmoud. I, I don't, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm quite... My reward is you guys. My reward is coming here every Wednesday and doing the stream. And uh, that's good enough for me. I enjoy that quite a lot, actually. All right, let's carry on. Because remember, vocabulary classes take too long. So let's... Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on each word. So blues, don't forget, it's a type, right? Or a genre of music. And usually... And the reason why in the sentence they said you don't have to be sad, in a sad mood, to listen to the blues is because generally blues or the style of music that we call blues is considered to be uh, sad, right? It's considered to be sad music. Let me see if I can, uh, let me see if I can uh, make you listen to some blues. But I have to be careful because I don't want to pick another song and then YouTube will get angry at us. So let me, uh, let me search for... Uh, um, where's the uh, what's it called? You um, let's let's try blues music. Um, and then let's write copy no copyright, right? So no copyright. So YouTube does not get uh, mm -hmm, with us. Uh, audio, library, no copyright music. Ah, oh, there we go. So this belongs to uh, YouTube, actually. So there shouldn't be a problem with this. So let's see. This is an example of some blues music. The problem is I can't play of uh, any of the songs that I know because YouTube is going to uh, is going to <laughs> YouTube is going to uh, flag our video. So I don't want, uh, I don't want to really uh, I don't want to look for any songs that might be copyrighted. Oh look, there I'm 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 in the uh, suggested videos. 
But um, for example, B.B. Uh, King is a very, very famous blues uh, guitarist. Um, and actually his guitar is also famous. His guitar's name is Lucille. He, uh, he calls her Lucille, which, is, uh, which I find is kind of interesting. I like that. Um, yeah, I don't think it was th that was blues either, Gertrudis. I don't think that was blues, th blues either. If you guys want to listen to good blues music, listen to B.B. King. He's pretty, uh, he's pretty good at uh, blues. He's, he's quite famous. So, <clears throat> carrying on. A break up. So this is a phrasal verb. Okay? A phrasal verb. So what is a breakup? Remember, we're not talking breakup as in boyfriend and girlfriend. Even though that, uh, even though pretty much, actually it has pretty much the same meaning. But uh, remember, we're talking about art and music today. So, a breakup, if you're talking about a band, for example, in this case they're talking about the Beatles. Everybody knows the Beatles. They're probably the most famous band in the world. Um, so, the Beatles, at some point, or to be more specific, in 1970, they broke up. That means they did not stay or, uh, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I don't know what happened in my throat there. That means they did not stay together as a band, right? So that means uh, they, they did not become or they stopped being a band. So everybody went their own way. They became solo, we call it solo artist, right? So solo means one and uh, basically the Beatles in 1970, they broke up and a lot of them became solo artists, right? They just became their own selves. For, for example, John Lennon, right? John Lennon is very famous. Um, after he broke up, uh, or after the Beatles broke up, he started uh, singing by himself, right? He had a solo career, we say. Uh, <coughs> oh, th uh, thank you, guys. <laughs> Everybody's, because uh, I was coughing uh, a second ago. Everybody's like, drink something, have some water, have some... Uh, I, I appreciate uh, your, your concern, all of you. <laughs> uh, Louisa says, uh, as the band of One Direction. Yes, as you can see, I like One Direction very much. And if you did not get it, I was being sarcastic. I don't really like One Direction that much. But yes, they broke up. One Direction broke up, right? They're not a band anymore. Okay, next word. Budget, a budget. And um, budget here is a noun, right? So what is a budget? Very simply, what is a budget? It says here, you never have any money at the end of the month. Why? Or not why. Uh, you need to be more organized and start a budget. So a very simple way to think about what a budget is, is... Um, Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Don't worry, Rave. I'm not. I'm not drinking beer. I. Uh, I'm not drinking beer. This is coffee, and I have my trusty. Uh, my trusty wa water uh, tumbler here. But that's uh, that's 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 all that uh, that's all that I'm drinking. So a budget. Very simply, a budget is when you have a plan um, about how you are going to spend your money um, it can be for anything really it can be for your monthly expenses it can be for a party maybe that you are planning or organizing it can be um, how much you plan and how you plan um, to spend your money when you go on vacation um, it, it can be when you're planning to buy I don't know a new computer rig or something like that it just it just means your plan for a specific amount of money and how you are going to spend that money. Usually we call this a budget. Uh, Bisma saying, can we say he broke down from a group? Um, no, you, you have to say he, he, he broke up with the group, right? He broke up with the group. If you want to say from, you have to say left, right? He left uh, from the group, or from, or just he left the group. I would say. Uh, Sahand Barzani, hello Sahand, from Kurdistan. Uh, whoa, he says I have watched twenty-eight of your beneficial videos, and I appreciate that. 
and I wish the best of luck to you. Thank you so much, Barzani. I, uh, I hope that you benefited from the videos, uh, and I appreciate that a lot. Thanks a lot. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Moo Moo. Hello. Hello, Moo Moo. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not laughing at your name. I'm just laughing because I really like how that sounds when I say it. Moo Moo. Hello, Moo Moo. That's, uh, that's really cool. I like that. Uh, can we say his car broke down? Yes, you can, Louisa, but that is something uh, else that we're not talking about today. But yes, you can. His car broke down. That means it stopped functioning or working properly, suddenly, usually. Um, <coughs> oh, Moo Moo's name is Muhammad. Hello, Muhammad. Thank you for coming to the class. All right, carrying on. Next word we have is certainly. Sir. Tenly. And if you want to sound a little natural when you say it, please notice how the T sounds, right? So certainly, 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 right? You, you, you don't hear me say a hard T, right? I don't say certainly, right? It's certainly. So the E sort of cramps down and get mushed up with the rest of the letters, and you can't really hear it very well when you say it, right? So certainly. And certainly, um, just means uh, surely or definitely, right? So when you are sh certain, that means you are sure about something. I am certain. If you say some to somebody, I am certain, that means you're sure, right? You are definite, uh, definitely sure about what you're talking about. Um, Amin says we can replace it for definitely. Yes, in this example, when you're using it as an adverb, you definitely can, right? So class is certainly more enjoyable when the students like their teacher. Class is definitely more enjoyable. Class is surely more enjoyable. Yes, it works in that way. Very good. Uh, do, 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 do. Where are we? Next word is classical. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, but the, the word classical, uh, I have a history with that word, uh, and it reminds me of a very specific friend of mine. and. Uh, I just I, I have to I have to remember him every time I see the word classical. Uh, but anyway, classical again in this case we're using it as an adjective, and uh, classical very simply means um, again it's a genre right it's a style it's a type of music, and uh, I think we can play classical music actually right because classical music has no copyright if I uh, if I remember correctly. Classical music, but just in case, let's write no copyright, just so that uh, people don't get uh, YouTube doesn't get so upset with us. So classical music, I'm sure you guys know, right? So music, for example, like Beethoven and Mozart, and uh, and those guys, right? So classical music, so music that sounds like this. So classical music, right? I'm sure you guys all know what classical music is. No? You always feel so sophisticated when you listen to classical music. And, and, and I don't know why, but for, for some reason, I think you need a British accent when you listen to classical music. It's quite refreshing. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so you guys know what classical music is. All right, let's carry on. Compose. What are you guys saying in the chat? Mustafa. Oh, hello, Mustafa. Hi, Mustafa. Thank you for coming to the class. I, uh, I appreciate it. Thanks. Remo says, calm music. <laughs> That's an interesting way to describe classical music. Um, eh, yeah, I, I see what you're meaning. I see, or I see what you're saying. Yes, a lot of classical music is, is very calm. Um, but some of them are not also. Some, some classical music is actually very, um, can be very aggressive or, um, or have a different mood to it. But, uh, but I agree, yeah. mo mo most of classical music is very sort of calm, right? Uh, Christine, hi Christine. Christine says, do you know where I can find class with Sean? Um, if you mean live classes, I don't think Sean is streaming anymore. Um, but if you're talking about Sean's old classes, um, they're on the website. So just, um, I mean the YouTube channel, right? So just go to the same place where you're watching me right now. 
um, and you'll find all of Sean's uh, previous classes um, in the video section. But uh, I don't think Sean is doing any new streams at the moment. No, he didn't quit. He didn't quit. He didn't quit. He, he didn't quit, Julian. The, Sean is just a very busy man at the moment. So, yeah, he's just he's he's really busy. He has uh, he has a lot of uh, a lot of things <laughs> that he's doing right now, um, which is why I think he's not really doing the streams that much. Um, Abir says, can you explain a budget again? Yeah, sure. So a budget very simply is what a budget is when you know how much money you have and you have a plan about how you're going to spend this money. So for example, when you go to a, um, I don't know, imagine you want to buy a car. You go to the car dealership and you walk inside. It's a, a very common question sometimes that you get is the salesman or the salesperson will ask you, what is your budget? That means, what is he asking you? He's asking you, how much did you already plan in your head? You have a plan. How much did you plan to spend on a car? So he's asking you, what is your budget? Why? So he doesn't show you everything if it doesn't fit in your plan, right? So he wants to know what your budget is, so he knows. So then you'll tell, oh, well, my budget is, uh, I don't want to buy a car that's, more than ten thousand dollars and i hope to pay i don't know for example one hundred dollars every month right that's it this is your budget your budget is your decision of how much you're going to spend and how are you going to spend it that is it that's basically what a budget means um <clears throat> gamil is saying are you egyptian yes i am i am of egyptian descent Any other questions? Can I compose a poem? Um, no, I don't, no. No, yeah, I've never heard somebody say, you don't compose a poem. Co uh, um, no, you don't compose poems, no, you don't. We don't use compose with, uh, with a poem. Uh, Or can you? Can you use? I don't know. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not really sure. But if if you can, I guarantee you, it is. Um, it's very very uncommon because I don't think I've ever heard personally anybody say compose with uh, with uh, with a poem. You can compose. Um, you can yeah. You can compose a piece of writing because that's where the word composition comes from, which would make sense that you should be able to say it with uh, with poem. Um, but let's check. Can I use compose with poems? So let's uh, let's see that. Uh, 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 uh. Um, let's see what the guys on Kiora are saying. Usually they have good answers on Kiora. Um, Uh, well, there you go. Yeah, I guess you can. You can compose a poem. You learn something new every day. Yes, you can. You can say you can say you can compose a, a poem, but it is extremely unusual. Very, 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 very unusual. It's not common, right? Um, or not? I, I don't want to say unusual because unusual makes it sound like it's wrong, right? But it's very uncommon, right? It's not a very common thing that a lot of people say. Usually, say, people say. I wrote a poem. That's that's much more common to say. Um, you are uh, you're welcome. No uh, no no problem. But yeah 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 exactly, Gertrudis. It's much more common to say you write a poem instead of compose. Compose is really, um, I would say, it's much more common with music, right? It's very common to hear a lot of people say compose with music. So what does it mean to compose? To compose very simply in this case means to create the music, right? Um, it means you're not copying it from somebody else. You are the person who is creating it, right? So you're making this music. You're composing it. And 
Maybe one day I'll share with you guys uh, some of my compositions. We'll, uh, we'll see. <laughs> All right, next word. Consist of. The band consists of five musicians, right? The band consists of five musicians. So, what does that mean? What do you guys think it means to consist? If I say the band consists of five musicians. Um, it doesn't mean members, Gosia. It doesn't mean members. Uh, 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 uh. All well, yeah. I'm talking, but but what I'm talking about, guys, is consists of. What does this mean? Yes, you're you're right. This sentence means that this, that the band has five members. That's correct. But what I'm asking about is what does it mean to say consists of? Um, includes. Okay, I would say includes is sort of related. It's a bit uh, close to that. I would say a better word is uh, made up of. So the band is made up of what? It's made up of some musicians. In this case, it's made up of five musicians, right? The, ba the band is made up of, or made of, five musicians. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, exactly, yeah. Just like you guys are saying in the chat right now, right? So it's, and just, just to make it very clear, let's use it in a different type of sentence, right? So um, you can say something like, When examples don't come to your head, <laughs> uh, you can say something like what? Um, mm, mm, mm. You can say something like, for example, um, when I was when I used to work out a lot, my diet consisted of a lot of fruits and vegetables. Right. So my diet was made up of right. What were the things that, in the end, made this thing? Right. So. In that case, my diet consisted of a lot of fruits and vegetables. That means my, my diet had a lot of fruits and vegetables. In this case, the band consists of five musicians. That means the band is made up of five musicians. Yeah, you guys are getting it. Very good. A debut, and please notice the pronunciation, right? Debut, that's, that's how you say this word, right? So imagine you are saying day and bu, right? So bu, same same pronunciation as um, as new, right? So day bu. That's how you basically pronounce this word, a debut. And if you notice here, the sentence says what? The musician is going to release his debut album on Tuesday. Rosa made it. Yo, hi Rosa. Thank you for coming. I hope all is well. Rosa is saying, what's going on? Have you started class on a different time today? Um, no, I didn't. Why? Are oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> on the weekend, um, we had daylight savings. So um, the clock went forward. Yeah, the clock went forward one hour because, uh, because I guess summer is about to start in, uh, in Vancouver. So, uh, so yeah, so that's, that's probably why, Rosa. Maybe you, 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 didn't, uh, you didn't update the time. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's because of daylight savings. The, the, it's still 3 p.m. It's still 3 p.m., but uh, the, the time changed, right? So over the weekend, the time moved one hour uh, ahead. And that's, uh, that, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, yeah, I was surprised, actually, why you were not, uh, why you were not here today, Rosa. You're usually, you usually never miss a class. But yeah, that's the reason. Sorry about that. Um, where are we now? So debut. So what does it mean? What's, that, what's, what's debut? If I say that his debut album, what's a debut album? Um, actually, no, Rose, so the class is not about to finish. We're doing vocabulary, and you know what that means. And we are still in the D, <laughs> the D words. 
Oh my God, it's going to take so long today. But uh, first, okay, so there we go. A lot of you are saying first. Yeah, debut means the first time you appear to the public, right? Debut is the first time you appear to the public. And uh, basically, we use it for uh, an appearance of uh, a performer. We use it for the appearance of maybe some athlete. And it's also very common for music albums, right? So music albums, people, uh, sports players, athletes. Um, so you can say this was his debut game. That means this was the first game that he appeared in and everybody saw him. Um, and that's it. Yeah, first performance. Very good. That's it. That's what, exactly what Gertrudis is saying. Just remember, it can also be for albums, right? It's very, very common with albums. So your debut album very simply means your first ever album that came out to the public. That's, that's, uh, that's debut. All right. And just remember the spelling, right? I mean the pronunciation, right? It's not debut. <laughs> it's not debut or, de or debut. It's day, like you're saying the word day, like today, day, and then bu, right? Bu, same, same tone or same, same weight as the word new. So day, bu. All right, carrying on. Uh, da, 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 da. Julian, uh, no, Julian, everything is fine. I think you just needed to refresh. Munira says, depicts means shows. Uh, yes, it does. Oh, that's the next word. Ah, uh, Munira is jumping ahead. <laughs> uh, yes, right? So Munira is saying depicts means shows. And uh, that, is, uh, that is true. So if you notice the example sentence, what does it say? It says, the painting depicts a beautiful landscape, right? The painting depicts a beautiful landscape landscape. That means it's showing us, right? It's trying to show or to express to us a beautiful uh, landscape in this case. So yeah, just to show, right? To show. The next word is develop and notice in the, at the bottom here we are telling you that uh, in relation to new ideas or products to develop, right? So for example, Apple is rumored. Rumored is what? Rumors are when people, uh, it's like gossip, right? When you talk about stuff and you're not really sure if it's true or not. So Apple is rumored to be developing a car. Apple is rumored to be developing a car. So what are you guys saying? No, uh, no suggestions in the chat. Remo is saying I develop my mind. Um, yeah, you can. You can definitely develop your mind. Rise up, not exactly. Advance, also not exactly, Judith. Uh, Epic Games is developing the Fortnite game to be on mobile. Uh, yeah, that works. I think that works. Yep, that, that should be okay. To promote a new technology, not promote. Be careful with the word promote. It's not to promote. So if you are developing something, that means you are uh, producing it, creating it, or working on it, right? That's it. So Apple is rumored to be developing a car. You can say Apple is rumored to be working on or producing a car. And that's it. That's basically what it means. Next word. Um, yes, Louisa, to improve can be another meaning for the word develop, but that's not the meaning in, uh, in this case, right? In this case, we're just saying Apple is working on a car, right? They're, they're, they're creating one, right? They're producing one at the moment. They're trying to make one. Okay, next word. Diverse, a diverse. We have a very diverse mix of nationalities in this class, and this is true. I have a very diverse mix of nationalities uh, in this class with all of you guys. Um, so diverse, different, yeah, very good, different. Uh, not many, it doesn't mean many, right? Many, many means an amount, a quantity. 
diverse doesn't really mean a quantity, right? So diverse just means a lot of different uh, mix of nationalities, right? We have a very diverse, right? A, 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 a lot of different types of nationalities in this class. Um, and that's it. That's really what diverse means. So for example, if you're talking about company diversity, when people talk about companies and uh, company diversity, what they mean is what? What they mean is how, um, different types of people that work in this company. So if you describe as a company as being very diverse, that means you will probably find people in this company who work there from Asia or Asian backgrounds, the Middle Eastern backgrounds, Latin American backgrounds, European, American, wh whatever, right? Diverse, a lot of different types. Drums, I think everybody knows the drums, come on. I'll be, I'll be very surprised if you don't know the drums. So drums, right? It's a type of musical instrument. So drums. Oh. So drums, right? Everybody knows drums. So yeah, a very important part or instrument in, uh, in almost all songs uh, that I can think of. Uh, usually, yes, usually for the rhythm. Very good, yes. We usually use drums to, uh, to maintain or to dictate or to, to decide upon the rhythm uh, of the song. And it's basically what helps all the other musicians in the band keep the same rhythm. Yes, very good, drums. And uh, yeah, Mahmoud put uh, an emoji of drums in the chat. That's basically it. Next word is emotion. Um, <clears throat> so the sentence says what? Sometimes his emotions affect his decisions, right? So emotions basically are your um, feelings, right? So an example of some emotions are um, sadness. Being sad is an emotion. Um, being angry, being um, jealous, being um, frustrated, being whatever really. It's a, it's a type of feeling basically, or it's a feeling, right? An emotion. Why am I so emotional? Like, uh, like that song <laughs> that says that. <laughs> uh, the guy was attempting to control his emotions. Yeah, very good. Feelings, right? That's what it means, feelings. An exhibition is the next word. Exhibition, an exhibition, an exhibition. Um, mood, your mood. Oh, yeah, your mood is basically, yeah. Your mood is, 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 is it, it depends on how you feel and all that sort of love. Yeah, very good. I would say, uh, yeah. So an exhibition, it says what? There is an interesting dinosaur exhibition going on at the museum. There's an interesting dinosaur exhibition going on at the museum. So usually an exhibition is um, when you, an event or a place that you go to that, uh, again, it has a collection of, usually a collection of things um, with the purpose or for the reason of displaying it or showing it to the, uh, to the public, right? And we call this an exhibition. Um, it's different from museums because muse an exhibition usually is, for, is temporary, right? So an exhibition um, doesn't last forever. It's usually for um, a certain amount of days or maybe uh, a few weeks. Or, or something like that. So here in Vancouver, for example, we have, um, we have something called Science World. Um, there are things in Science World that are always there. They never change. And then um, frequently, or very often throughout the year, um, every few months or so, Science World will have a different type of exhibition where, where they will focus on something special. So my favorite, for example, was uh, last year. They had uh, an exhibition about uh, Leonardo da Vinci, which was, uh, which was very, very cool. I'm a huge fan of Leonardo da Vinci, and uh, I really enjoyed going to, uh, to the exhibition about that. There was a lot of really cool things to see and stuff. So that's an exhibition. An exhibition of French culture. Very good, Remo. That's a good sentence. The dinosaur exhibition is the fame. 
is the fame. I think your sentence is missing something, Julian. Um, in Indonesia, an exhibition is for something special. Yeah, you, usually it is, right? And that's why usually exhibitions are temporary, right? They're not, they're not forever. Because, yeah, usually they, they, they talk about something special, right, that they want to show people. Very good. Carrying on. Fame. Oh, is that what Julian was talking about? I still don't get it, though. But anyway, fame. So what is fame? Fame is the noun version of the adjective famous. So I'm sure you guys know what famous means, right? Famous is when, if you are a famous person, that means a lot of people know who you are, right? That's, that's basically famous. And fame is the noun. That's it. So have you ever heard that we will all experience... 15 minutes of fame in our lives. So 15 minutes that we will be very famous in, in our lives. Um, and that's it. So ju it's just a noun. It's just the noun form of famous. And that's it. That's what fame is. Gallery. So the word gallery, I think you guys... Uh, I think you guys should know what gallery means because uh, especially um, since it's become very popular, everybody on our smartphones these days, we have, uh, we have an icon for, uh, for gallery. So very simply, a gallery is, um, is, again, it's a location, usually a room or a building or something like that. Um, and basically, you go there to look at um, some kind of art. So that's really pretty much it. So it's a, it's, a, it's a room or a building or a location. And basically over there, they display pieces of art or whatever so that the public can come and see it. Um, and that's it. That's basically what a gallery is. A place for an exhibition, um, yeah, I guess that would work uh, technically. It's, it's not a massive store, Hashem, because the word store is not specific, right? So, for example, I can't go to, um, I don't know, I can't go to Walmart or Kmart or Costco or um, what's popular in the Middle East, um, Carrefour or something like that. I can't go, I, I, I can't call that place a gallery, right? No. A gallery is a place that is specifically for the public to come in so that they can see and admire um, art and things like that. Okay, next, a genre. So I've been saying this word in the beginning and very simply, a genre means type or style or kind, right? What kind of music are you listening to? What type of music do you enjoy listening to? So the correct word that we, uh, well not the correct, the other ones are also correct, but you can say genre, right? So a genre is the type of music. Uh, you're, uh, you're, you're welcome, Hashem, no problem. Burger King, what's going on in the chat? Some people are just saying random fast food uh, name places. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, hip hop genre. Yes, right? Like a hip hop is a type of genre. Very good. Okay, next. We are still in G. Man, there's. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. All right, graduate. She will graduate from university in the spring. She will graduate from university in the spring. So to graduate means when you successfully finish a course that you are in and then you receive your degree or your certification or your whatever it is that says that you did it in a successful way, right? That's, that, that's basically it, to graduate. So when, when you finish university, you graduate. If, if you finish successfully, of course, you graduate. Um, no, it doesn't mean a passing grade, Julian, because um, I can get a passing grade on a test. On the, for example, like the tests that I'm talking about, these are just midterms. They're not the finals. Um, so a lot of people passed those tests, but that doesn't mean that they graduated. To graduate means you have to finish the entire course, whatever it is. If it's a one-month course, if it's uh, two years, three years, four years, you have to finish the entire course successfully and achieve or receive um, something that's says or proves that you did, right? Then you can say, yes, I graduated. 
That's what graduate means. So don't mix it up with passing grade. That's not, it doesn't mean passing grade. A guitarist, very simply, is a person who plays guitar. That's it. It cannot be simpler than that, right? So a guitarist is very simply a person who plays a guitar. Hit. Um, <clears throat> so a hit is a noun, but it can also be an uh, adjective, right? But what do we mean by hit here, right? So it's not the verb to hit somebody. Um, it's a way to talk or to describe songs. So if you have a song that is a hit, that means it was very successful. If you have a hit song, that means this song was extremely successful and a lot of people know it and like it a lot, right? So that's, we call those songs hits. So um, yeah, popular song, right? Like Gertrude is just saying, very good. So Michael Jackson, for example, had many, 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 many hits. A lot of Michael Jackson's songs were hits. They were all very famous, very popular, many people liked them, and that's basically what it means, right? A hit, a hit song. Um, inspiration, whoops. Inspiration, so what is an inspiration? An inspiration. Anybody? No. So inspiration is uh, is a noun, and it comes from the verb to inspire. Um, <laughs> ain't the same the real <laughs> man. I like that name a lot. Ain't the same the real. <laughs> Thank you for coming to class. Yeah, you're a little bit late today, but don't worry. We still have a lot of time to go in this class today. It's going to be a long one. Uh, I know, Rosa, that's why I said the Michael Jackson example. I know you are a huge Michael Jackson fan. That's, that's literally why I said this example for you, Rosa. <laughs> so, um, okay, so inspiration. What's an inspiration? An inspiration is, think of it like this. When something happens, and because of that something, it creates a feeling of, um, a feeling of excitement and, and, and happiness, and it makes you want to create or to do something. Um, we call this inspiration, right? So it's very common for artists um, um, to say, for example, oh, I didn't do anything in, in six months now. Why? Because I don't feel inspired or I have no inspiration at all, right? Which, which basically means what? Nothing happened in the last six months that gave them that feeling of motivation or drive to be creative and to do something new and to want to create something new, right? So it's a, it's a very common thing with artists, right? Inspiration. Um, a lot of people say you cannot create art without inspiration. Um, but that is a debatable topic. But I generally agree, right? So I generally agree. I think that you need to be inspired if you want to create, uh, if you want to create uh, art. Uh, a good teacher inspires, be careful with the tense, Judith, yes. A good teacher inspires um, their students. Yeah, very good. I agree. My friend is so inspirational person, be careful, Gosia. I would say my friend is such an inspirational person. Or my friend is so inspirational, that's it. Okay, next, inspire, same thing, it's just the verb, right? To inspire someone means you make somebody want to start creating something, right? With a lot of excitement and passion and, uh, and those types of feelings, right? That's it. So to inspire is just the verb. An instrument is, you guys know this by now, I've been using this word actually today during the, during the class. So an instrument, an example of an instrument is a guitar. An example of an instrument is the drums. An example of an instrument is uh, the piano, right? So basically the tools that we use to make or create music. Um, we call them instruments. Musical instruments, of course, because we can also use instruments for other types of tools, right? Like in chemistry, for example. Um, and some other places, right? We can use instrument in some other places. But here we're talking about music today, so in instruments, we mean musical instruments. An interview. 
interview. I think all of you, uh, I think all of you know what uh, what that word means. If anybody here has a job or uh, you are uh, going to get a job soon, um, well, then you should know what an interview is, right? It's very similar. Basically, an interview. The only difference about this type of interview is this is the kind of interview where a news person or a reporter will be sitting usually with a famous person or with uh, an artist or some kind of band um, and basically they, they just ask them questions right so that's um, that's an interview uh, bisma says an exchange of views i like uh, i like that that's a nice description of interview jacqueline yes like a job interview that's also a type of interview and uh, hi jacqueline <laughs> Welcome to the class. I didn't see you. Okay, next word is uh, involve. Whoops, I don't know why I keep pressing on this uh, on this thing. So involve. It says here what? My job involves a lot of travel. My job involves a lot of travel. Uh, not engage. I would say Rosa is has a closer word. Yes, includes. Right. So my job includes. My job um, requires. In 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 this case, right. Um, it's an important or a necessary part of my job here. For example, right. So my job involves a lot of travel. Yeah, to be a part of, yeah, a big, yeah, yeah, exactly, right? To be a part of or to include or something like that. So you can actually, you can actually, let's try to take the word involve out, right? So my job, or I can say it in a different way, um, a big part of my job is traveling a lot, right? A big part of my job is traveling a lot. My job involves a lot of travel. That's basically it. Landscape, landscape. So what uh, w w what is a landscape? Actually, w why are we not looking at the pictures? Maybe the pictures uh, maybe less. Landscape. Uh, what are we on? We're I think fourteen now. Maybe no, fourteen is depict. Um, develop diverse. Oh, actually, we went ahead quite a few. Not bad. Genre. Graduate guitarist. Man, which word are we on? We already did 24 words. Let's try 28. Maybe it's 28. Yeah, we're close. Instrument. Interview. I think we're there now, right? Involved, yeah. All right. So my job involves a lot of travel. Landscape. <coughs> so it says, uh, it says in this picture, I don't like her paintings of people, right? I don't like the paintings that she makes of people. I think she's better at doing landscapes, right? So what is a landscape? Very simply, if, if I go to Google Images and type um, landscapes, you guys will see, right? That's basically it. A landscape is the, a type of picture where the focus is not people or objects or things like that. Um, usually they're the type of pictures where they show you a nice scene, right? That usually has a wide view of, uh, of, of, of some kind of nature or scenery. Um, basically not people, right? Just not people and not animals. Like a sunset, yes, right? Go see a sunset can be a, a type of landscape picture. Um, just like the pictures that you see in front of you right now, right? So all of these are examples of landscapes. That's it. Next word, the scenery or a site of nature. Um, yes, but uh, scenery can sometimes not be landscape. But yes, yeah, sites of nature usually are landscapes. Um, not the pyramids, Louisa. The pyramids are landmarks, not landscapes. But if you take a picture of the pyramids with the desert and everything, like a whole picture like that, yeah, that we, we can consider that a landscape picture. But the pyramids, just the pyramids alone by themselves, they are landmarks. We consider these to be landmarks. 
Judith, yeah, usually, yes. Very good, Judith. Usually pictures that depict uh, nature. Very good. Next word is last. And uh, last here is not... Um, Um, l lasts means the duration, right? So the amount of time that something happens for, right? So for example, here it says what? It says a hockey game usually lasts for about three hours. A hockey game usually lasts for about three hours. So it lasts for, that means this is the time that it will, it will, um, it will happen in, right? This is how much time the game is going to uh, be, basically, right? So a hockey game lasts for about three hours hours uh, period yeah right so yeah you're describing the period of time the duration of something very good so for example my uh, my smart English classes should last for one hour but they never do <laughs> for example all right next word Um, <clears throat> so left over or left is there any uh, for example here it says is there any pizza left I'm still hungry is there any pizza left so very simply it means remaining right is there any pizza left is there any pizza that is still there that you guys did not eat right that you left behind or you left over um, remaining yeah very good right the remaining remaining most of you are saying remain very good um, just be careful, Gosia. It does not have to be the say the next day. Maybe uh, it could be in the same day. It could be after five minutes. Whatever. It doesn't have to be the next day. But it just means anything that is still there, right? That did not finish. That you did not eat. Um, and it doesn't have to be food. It can be anything, really, right? So let's say, for example, I have uh, I have three pens, for example, that I'm going to give people as gifts. Um, so I give one, I give the other, and then somebody comes, hey, those pens that you're giving out, are there any left? It means, do you still have any? Are there any remaining? And that's it, right? So it doesn't have to be for food, and it doesn't have to be for the next day. And you are welcome. No problem. Next. <laughs> Thank you, Rosa. I, I, I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Rosa saying, we're so glad that the, that the duration of this class is never an hour. <laughs> Thanks, Rosa. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay, local. You can find this book at any local bookstore, right? At any local bookstore. And the word local here is an uh, adjective, right? So we're using local as an adjective. So what does local mean, you guys? Tell me. Uh, 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 uh. Stenio, hi Stenio, welcome to the class. He's asking, is there any money left? Ah, uh, that's, the, that's the only thing that I never have anything left over from. <laughs> money. <laughs> So local, a lot of you are saying of this place, um, near, in the region or within the region, near my place. And yeah, basically you guys are getting it, right? So it's very, uh, that's, that's pretty much what we mean. So local very simply means uh, belonging to or connected with a specific or a particular place um, or area that usually um, you live in or that you are talking about, right? Anything that you're talking about. Um, it doesn't have to be where you are right now. So I could be talking about something in a different country even, um, uh, and, I can, and I can use the word local. So, um, so for example, you, it, people, uh, a very common thing that a lot of travelers say is, um, one of the main reasons I like to travel is because I love to try um, the local foods of the areas that I go to, right? Or of all the different countries that I go to. 
and uh, that th that is true for me. That's 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 the main reason actually why I travel. I'm more interested um, in eating the food uh, rather than uh, r rather than going and and doing sightseeing. I'm more interested in going to uh, to the local uh, restaurants and the local mm, like cafes and, and 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 places like that. I think for me that's that's much more interesting. So just to give you an example, my wife and I went to um, my wife and I went to Vegas uh, a few years ago, and <laughs> we we spent so five days, right? My wife and I went for five days. We spent eighty eight zero dollars on uh, gambling uh, because you're in Vegas. I mean, you're in Vegas. You have to see what the whole gambling thing, right? It's 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 strange if you go to Vegas and you don't gamble. So we're not gamblers, but we were in Vegas. We were like, hey, we might as well try it. So we spent in five days eight, uh, 80, 80 dollars on gambling, and I think we spent something like a thousand dollars on food. <laughs> so you, you can see we are uh, we go for the food, not uh, not usually for anything else. But yeah, that's what uh, that's what local means. So you guys uh, you guys get that. Next word is mellow, mellow. So what is mellow? It says here, I prefer to listen to uh, relaxing, mellow music at night, right? I prefer listening to relaxing, mellow music at night. And very, very simply, me mellow means um, something that is soft and pleasant, right? So me rock and roll, for example, is not mellow music. Um, uh, heavy metal is not mellow music. Um, a lot of um, a lot of uh, what 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 did I want to say? Um, a lot of those m mood CDs. You know how sometimes they sell these CDs uh, that are supposed to like put you in a specific mood. Um, a lot of those songs usually are very mellow, right? So they're very soft style songs, very relaxing. Um, there's not going to be like a hard beat in the song or any, uh, or any distorted or aggressive sounds or noises um, or things like that, basically. Um, and it does not have to be sad, Gertrudis. No, it doesn't have to be sad. You can have happy mellow music. You can have whatever. It doesn't have to be sad. But yeah, just very soft, very relaxing, relaxing mu music, right? So the type of music you might listen to if um, if you're trying to sleep or if you're trying, or if you're, I don't know, maybe having a massage or something like that, right? Relaxing. A ballad could be mellow. Yes, a ballad definitely could be mellow. Next word. A member. A member so in the example here um, of course member can work for many different things but we're talking about music and art so if you are a member of a band um, part okay part okay individual mm. Yes, I would say Tamim is the closest person to the uh, to the definition. So a member is when you are you belong to something, right? You're part of an organization or a group or a club or whatever, right? So you guys know this, for example, from Facebook, right? If you join any group on Facebook, you become a member of that group, right? So you're a part of this group now. You belong to this group. Um, so yeah, just like to, uh, just like Julian is saying in the chat, he says I have a lot of members in my the Tubi band. Yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. A member of the family, very good. Yeah, that's pretty much it, right? So a member is when you are part of a larger thing, right? And the thing is usually something like an organization or a club or a group or an association or um, something like that. Uh, Mahmoud says we are now smart English members. Yes, you are. You are part of the Smart English tribe. Yes, Louisa, mem members of Smart English. That is, uh, that is exactly what you guys are. Oh, by the way, I was watching um, today in the morning. I think I was watching the video from last week uh, or yesterday to, to, to see who, um, 
to see who, who won movie quote of the week. And uh, I think uh, YouTube had an update or something because I noticed that now when you re-watch the videos, they actually show you the chat uh, that we are having right now. So the chat that you guys and I are having together right now, um, this actually will play on the side panel of the page. It will play uh, um, during the video and they will show you when, like th th they'll type out the words correctly at the same time that you guys s typed it out during the video. So, um, so that's, um, I think that's pretty interesting. I like that. I like the fact that you can watch the videos now and actually see uh, the interactions uh, that were happening during the class. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. I like it. It makes, it makes much more sense to watch videos that, w that came from a live stream, right? Because a big part of the live stream is, is, is the interaction that you and I have together. I think that's, uh, that's basically why streaming is so much fun. Um, it's, the, it's, it's the interaction. Um, so it's, it's nice. I enjoyed seeing that uh, when I was looking at the video. I think that's a, that's a good update, YouTube. Keep up the good work. All right, carrying on. Mood, are you going... Are, oh, sorry, are you, going, are, are you in a good or bad mood? Are you in a good or bad mood? Yeah, you guys are saying that you like it too, right? It makes, it makes much more sense when you're watching a live stream or a video that used to be a live stream um, to see what the streamer, um, why did he say specific things, right? When he's answering questions or, um, or when we laugh about something, for example, right? Instead of people just suddenly seeing me laugh for no reason, um, at least now uh, they'll know why, right? Because they can see the chat and the things that, uh, that we've been talking about, which is cool. It's cool. All right, where are we? Mood. So are you in a good mood or a bad mood? I know that everybody here knows this word. So uh, a mood is basically how you feel at a specific time, right? So usually I am not in a good mood in, uh, in the morning when I wake up. Um, Never. <laughs> I am not a morning person. I am just not a morning person at, uh, at all. Uh, Muhammad Nurdin says, Assalamu alaikum kareem. S what? Situational? I think situational. I think that's what you're saying. Alaikum assalam, Muhammad. Thank you, for, uh, thank you for coming to the class. Um, Yeah, Julian's not a morning person uh, either. Ain't the same the real. I love saying your name. Ain't the same the real. Says uh, until I have uh, until I have my coffee. Um, sometimes even after I have my coffee, I'm just I'm just I don't I'm not a morning person. You should avoid me in the morning. I have um, I have murderous tendencies in the morning. You should you should not get in my face in the morning. But uh, but yeah, that's just the way that I am. So the mood is, that's it, right? It's basically the general feeling that you have at a specific moment in time, right? Uh, are you in a good mood? Do you feel good, happy, whatever, for, for any reason? The reason is irrelevant, that's not the point. Um, the point is, it's a description of how you feel at the moment, right? And we call this your mood. Okay, next. <coughs> An opponent. Opponent. Why are we talking about opponent in art? But uh, anyway, let's uh, let's see what the example says. Uh, Rosa says, "Karim, do you know that someone broke this?" Yes, I know, Rosa. I, I I talked about it in the beginning of the lesson today. The impossible finally happened. Uh, Mahmoud uh, Mahmoud won movie quote of the of the week last uh, last week, and summer uh, summer has been pushed off the throne. And, uh, and Mahmoud sat, uh, sat instead. So uh, I'm very curious to see what's going to happen today. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It was, it was, I couldn't believe my eyes when I, uh, when I was checking it out. So uh, uh, an opponent. Um, let's take a look at the sentence. So it says here, there are many opponents to the plan to build the shopping mall because uh, many trees will need to be cut down. So, so just... 
I know opponent, when you're talking about uh, sports or when people are competing against each other, you, your opponent is the person that is competing against you. But here, opponent is not a competitor, right? It doesn't mean a person who's competing um, in the same sense that um, when we talk about sports or, um, or, or anything like that. Um, here, very simply, opponent means somebody who is, uh, how should I say this? Somebody who's against what you are saying or trying to do or, or, or whatever it is, right? So again, let's go back to the sentence to, to hopefully, so just keep it in your mind, right? It, it, it means you don't agree, you're against this thing. So there are many opponents, there are many people who are against the plan to build the shopping mall because many trees will need to be cut down, right? So people that are not with this plan, people who are against, they are opposing the plan, opposing, right? They're against it. Yes, Rosa, very good, there you go, the opposer. That's exactly right. Or ain't the same, the real. Yes, very good. Um, ba -bom, ba -bom, ba -bom. Uh, not annoying, Muhammad. be careful. It does not mean annoying, it means uh, op oppose. You're against something, you don't agree with it. Not necessarily annoying, it doesn't have to be. It could be, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, next word is what? Outspoken. Summer is our movie quote opponent. No, Julian. Summer is your movie quote competitor. Yeah, that's what I mean. S Summer is not against the idea of movie quote, um, but she's competing against you for the movie quote of the week. So I wouldn't say Summer is your... Um, is a movie quote opponent, I would say she's a competitor in this case. If you're talking about uh, opponent in the sense that we were talking about. Next word is outspoken and outspoken is, uh, is an adjective. So it says here what? I have an outspoken friend, right? So it's describing the type of friend, right? It's an adjective who never hides her true feelings. Um, and that's, that's what outspoken means. Outspoken usually are people who are uh, they, they say exactly what they think and they're not shy or afraid or scared um, even if what they say is something that's going to shock people or shock the listener, right? Um, they're not scared. They're not intimidated. They're not shy to say exactly what they feel and, and, and what they think about something, right? So they're very outspoken. Um, yes, but I would make a distinction between outspoken and honest. Why? Because you can be an honest person, but not outspoken. So, 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 so let me clarify that a little bit, right? I can be very honest with you, but I can still be shy. I can care that uh, what I'm going to say, I don't want it to shock people. I don't want it uh, to offend someone. I don't want it to surprise somebody. So I can still be honest, but not outspoken. Outspoken are people who say what they think without fear, right? They don't, they, they, they don't take into consideration the consequences or what's going to happen to the person who's listening to me. And that's, uh, and that's pretty much it. Samar is in the chat. Sorry, guys. Um, or I don't know if I should say sorry or not since Mahmoud now is the reigning champion technically. So uh, we'll see if summer uh, we'll see if summer can uh, can steal back her uh, <laughs> her title. Well, uh, it should be interesting uh, today. Uh, my dog is outspoken. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yes, Daniel. Most most dogs are outspoken. Uh, Julian is sad, man. Julian's like summer. No, I wanted to win today. <laughs> Oh man, I love you guys. You always make me laugh. All right, carrying on. Are we almost done? Where are we now? Uh, painting, how many words do we have left? Uh, almost there, almost there. We're getting there. Okay, so painting, all you guys know what a painting is, right? So painting can obviously be a verb, but we are talking about it as a noun. So a painting is after you paint something, the, uh, the end, result, we call it a painting, right? So any, anybody who painted anything, it becomes a painting. That's it, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, yes, it's a drawing, but usually it's a drawing that is made with paint. That's why we call it painting. So if I, um, 
if I if I pick up a pen, for example, and I sketch or I draw something on a on a sheet of paper with a pen or with a pencil, that's not a painting, right? So a painting needs to have paint. You have to use paint. That's why it's called a painting. Julian is Julian is hoping for Summer's Wi-Fi to die just so he can <laughs> win movie quote of the week. <laughs> oh man. All right, participation. Your participation in the project will surely help us complete things faster, right? So uh, basically, participation is uh, is what you guys are doing in the chat. You, all of you are participating, right? That means you, um, how do I say this? You take part in what's happening, right? You, you, you're not just observers. You're not just standing there watching me. No, you are also participating, right? You're included in what's happening, right? You are taking part of what is going on. You are contributing, right, also. So yeah, take part of something, very good, right? Interaction, yes, you're interacting, definitely. Right, so that's participation. It, participation is the noun, participating, or to participate is the verb, right? So when you participate, that means you take part in something. You're not, you're not just listening or watching or whatever. No, you're also doing yourself, right? You are participating. Passion. You really have a passion for helping people, don't you? So very simply, a passion is a very strong, very, very strong um, love or, uh, or, or excitement about doing something. When you really enjoy doing something, um, you have a passion for it, right? And, that's, uh, and that's, that's basically what passion is, right? What's the difference between attending and participating? Um, that's a good question, Rosa. So, um, you're welcome, Gertrudis. You're very, very welcome. Um, have a good night. Thank you for coming. Um, okay, so very simply, to attend means just to be there. That's it. To attend is to be there. So, for example, I have a lot of students that attend my classes every day. That means they come. They come to the class. They don't miss the class. They're not absent. But that doesn't mean that they participate. Some students come and sit in the class and do nothing. They just, they just, they, if, if I'm asking questions or I want feedbacks from the students, they never really, they, they, they don't participate or try to, uh, to join. Um, they just attend, right? So to attend is to be there. To participate is to be there and actually be part of what's happening. Um, that's it. So I hope, uh, I hope that makes sense or that clarifies uh, the difference. Next word is peace. Rosa got it. Very, very good. Great. Okay. Peace. The president said that she wasn't sure peace would ever be possible between the two countries. So I'm sure everybody knows what peace is, right? Unfortunately, because of the world that we live in today, um, these are things that uh, a, lot of, a lot of people talk about, right? War and peace and, uh, and all that type of stuff. So peace is basically the opposite of um, war, right? If, uh, if, if there is no war, then hopefully we have a period or a time of peace, right? When things are nice, people don't really have a lot of issues or problems. They're not fighting with each other. Um, stuff like that, right? So peace. And uh, I think everybody knows this word, right? It's a very universal word. And the dove, or the white dove, I should say, which is this, uh, this bird here, is, uh, is the universal symbol for peace. Uh, Borja saying, how, to, how do we use take part in and participate? Um, for example, right now, Borja, you are participating in this class, right? Because you're, you're joining in the chat, you're asking questions, you're commenting, so you are participating in the class. I can say the same sentence, right now, Borja, you are taking part in 
this class. And that's it. That's, uh, that's basically uh, an example of how to use them. There's not much peace around the world these days. Yes, Rose, I agree. There isn't much peace around the world, unfortunately, um, these days. Well, Muhammad thought that this was an angel. <laughs> I, I don't know. But yeah, it's a, it's a dove. It's a white dove. All right, photography. I'm interested in learning more about photography. So obviously, photography is what it's the uh, the 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 art or the profession or the action of taking photos, right? Of taking photos. We call this uh, we take the we, or sorry, we call this photography, right? Taking photos, basically. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, taking photos. Yeah, that's it. Popularity. The popularity of uh, the vegetable has been increasing since people found out it helps to reduce your chances of getting, excuse me, um, cancer. So popularity means uh, how popular or unpopular something is. Right? That's it. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, we really do live in 2018, don't we? Because Ju Julian uh, described it in the uh, in the chat as uh, amount of likes. <laughs> I love that amount of likes. Popularity is the amount of likes, and you are right. That's what. That's why it's funny, right? Because it's it's a lot of people can relate that to uh, to the to the world that we live in today. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's the amount of likes. <laughs> I like that a lot. Oh man. So yeah, just remember, right? Popularity is how much is something popular or not popular, right? The popularity. Um, no, Ahmed, be careful. Um, popularity does not mean that you are well known among the public. That is, if you are popular. Right, just popular. If you're popular, that means yes, you are well known among uh, among the public, and people like you also. Right, not just known. It also means that they like you. Um, well known, just well known. That means you're famous because you can be famous, but people hate you. But th just because you're famous, that doesn't mean everybody likes you. You can be a very famous person, but nobody likes you. Um, popular means yes, you're famous and people like you. Right, popularity is how much do people like you. Right, so please differentiate between those uh, those things okay so a project a project or a project as some people uh, say but a project is uh, a project is something that you are working on right as a very specific thing that you are basically working on right um, for a specific period of time. And in this case, I'm working on a project for school. Um, her, her project can be something like, I don't know, write a report uh, comparing the differences between uh, something and something. Or write a historical report about the different presidents of I don't know what. Or create, maybe you're, enge you're in engineering and your project uh, for this semester or this year or whatever is to design um, uh, um, a robot or something like that, right? So whatever it is, a project just is think of a, a task um, or something that you are working on, right? We call this a project. It's not a plan, Gosia. No, it's not a plan. A project is not a plan. Um, it's something that you are working on, right? A task that you want to do or to finish or to complete. Um, that's it. That's that. That's a project. It doesn't mean it's a plan. A challenge can be a project, but it's not. Uh, it doesn't have to be, Julian. Right? It doesn't have to be. I can't stand punk music. It's too loud and angry for me. So again, punk is a genre. It's a style. It's a type. It's a kind 
of music. If you guys know the band Green Day, um, Green Day is probably the most famous punk band uh, at the moment today, right? So Green Day, they're very, very, very famous punk band. Um, but that's basically, that's what it is, right? So punk, punk rock, punk music, it's, uh, it's a style or a type or a genre of music. And we call it, uh, we call it punk. R&B again. R&B is uh, is a type of music, and uh, if you're uh, if you're curious, the R and the B stands for rhythm and blues, right? So rhythm and blues. So my girlfriend always listens to R&B. Her favorite singer is Alicia Keys. I actually like Alicia Keys a lot. I think she has a fantastic voice and uh, and command of her voice. She's really good at controlling what she can do with her voice. Um, so I agree with this uh, with this statement, but yeah, rhythm and blues it means rhythm and blues. Um, no, it's not the opposite of me of mellow. It's not the opposite of mellow. Kareem has a crush on on what or on whom? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, Julian. Uh, oh, you mean about uh, uh, Alicia Keys? You mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I I love Alicia Keys' voice. She's a she's a great great singer in my opinion, in my humble opinion. Judith says, Kareem, what kind of music do you like? I like good music. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I don't uh, I don't have a specific genre. Judith, I, I can listen to anything as long as I personally think it's nice, right? But, uh, but I, don't, uh, I don't have like one specific genre that I only listen to. So, uh, so yeah, it doesn't really matter for me. If, if, I, if I think the, 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 the music itself is good and the singing or the whatever it is is good, um, I'll listen to it. I don't really have a preference. Um, <coughs> all right, let's carry on. Oh, sorry, we didn't do this word yet. Um, to record, right? Not a record. Please note, there are two different pronunciations for this, uh, the same word. So one of them is a record, and that is a noun. So a record is similar to an album, right? It's something uh, like, uh, it's a similar word to the word album. Um, the word that we're talking about here is not record. So I, I hope you guys can hear the difference. One is record and the other is record, right? So one is, one is longer than the other. So record, the short one, that's the noun when we mean an album. Um, and record, the one that's a little bit longer in the O sound, right? Record, that's, uh, that's, um, that's when you are recording something. So all of you know this, right? And anytime you take out your phone and you take a video, you are recording, right? That's it. So you can record video and you can record audio or music, of course. And that's it. The act, very good, Rosa. Yes, the act of recording your voice or a video. That's, that's, that, that's pretty much it. Okay, next. Reggae. <laughs> so reggae is again it's a style of music I'm sure uh, you guys uh, probably know it it's very very famous the uh, person who's most famous I would say in my opinion again is uh, Bob Marley so uh, yeah you know everybody I think everybody in the world knows Bob Marley right I am like a lion in Zion um, that's basically reggae music so if we, uh, I don't know, let's, uh, let's, let's try. So reggae music, no copyright. This is the audio library, yes, so let's play that. So this is a very common uh, reggae sound, that, that guitar. You get the idea, right? So this is, uh, and usually people sing. Uh, is this thing here? I don't know if there's any singing. 
But you guys, you guys know Bob Marley, right? If you know Bob Marley, you know reggae. And as uh, as they say in Jamaica, everything be iry, which means everything is all right. So that's uh, that's reggae. Every little thing is gonna be all right. Yeah, that's right, Ghost. Yeah, that's uh, that's a Bob Marley song. Yep. Okay, next word. Release. Let me. Dun, 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 dun. I just want to check how many. Uh, where are we? How many words do we have left? Because it's already two hours, man. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight more words. We're almost done. Release, to release, and this is, a, this is a verb, right? To release an album. The new albums, the new albums, there's a mistake here. Somebody tell me what is the mistake in this sentence. The new albums. Come on, somebody tell me. Let's do a, let's do a little uh, Sean uh, mistake of the week, if you guys remember uh, in Sean's classes. <laughs> so let's, uh, yes, Noor, very good. Noor is saying the S is wrong, or Tamim is also correct. If you keep the S, you will change the is to an R, A-R-E. Yeah, you guys are good. <laughs> Virtual high five to everybody. So yes, the new album is, right? So ignore this S or keep the S and say R, right? The new album is being released next week. Are you going to buy it? So when you release something, that means the first time it becomes available for the public to buy it, basically, right? That's, uh, that's, that's what it means. To release something, when you're talking about products or when you're talking about services or something like that, um, it just means um, the first time that it's going to be available for the public to, uh, to buy it. So uh, there you go, that's what release means. A saxophone is very simply this musical instrument over here. That is called a saxophone. And let's type it here because all the writing is covering the, mu the, the picture. This, right? This is a saxophone. What was, what was the meme on the, on the internet about the... Oh man. I, can't, I can't remember what it was called, but I used to love that meme. It made me laugh every time I saw it. Uh, it was called Epic, Epic, Epic Saxophone Guy, I think. You know, the, the song goes... Of course, I probably sound nothing like the song, but uh, I think it was called Epic Saxophone Guy. You guys should search it up, and uh, and uh, it's pretty it's pretty funny, or I like it. Uh, not a clarinet, the meme. A clarinet is very different, right? So a saxophone looks like this, right? So a saxophone has that little curve, and you hold it like this on your uh, on your chest, right? And you play it. Um, a clarinet is different. A clarinet looks like uh, this. So if you guys remember Kenny G. I don't know why you would remember him, because I am old. But <laughs> a clarinet is this, right? So this is a clarinet. It's not the same as a saxophone, and it sounds um, it sounds different. I would say it does sound different. A sculpture, a sculpture, right? So there is a strange sculpture in the park. I have no idea what it is supposed to be. I have no idea what it is supposed to be. So what are you guys saying? Oh, Julian says it's saxophone guy. All right, not epic saxophone guy, just saxophone guy. Um, the flute, Fl again, the flute, uh, who said that? Louisa, um, a flute is different. By the way, we call these wind instruments, right? So if you want one name that, that, that means any type of instrument like this, this is called a wind instrument because you need to you need to blow air to make the music sound, right? And so we call them wind instruments. But uh, a flute is different, right? So a flute is the, the thing that you hold uh, like that. So this is a flute, right? So a clarinet usually goes straight into your mouth like this. A flute usually goes to the side, right? And you, you blow on the side like that. That is called, uh, that's called the flute. Um, uh, where are we? Oh yeah, so back to sculpture. Very simply, a sculpture is a piece or a work of art 
um, that is um, that is usually a solid figure, and um, it's created, or the verb is it's sculpted from um, or carved from some um, a piece of wood, stone, clay. It really can be anything: steel, metal. It really doesn't matter. Um, all of these are sculptures, right? So. Um, if I type sculpture, and there you go, right? You'll get a million different things. It doesn't really matter the material that it's made from, um, but these are sculptures, basically. And they don't always have to look like things, right? So sculptures, uh, they can be abstract. So these sculptures are clear. Uh, some look like animals, some look like people, some look like whatever. Um, sculptures can look like this also, right? So this is a sculpture. It doesn't have to be something that you know what it is, right? It can be just anything, really. Um, that's it. That's a sculpture. Kareem should do mistake of the week at the beginning of the class and movie quote at the end. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's too much, uh, too much work, Julian. I barely have time to prepare for this class. I don't need more tasks at the moment. <laughs> or I'll, I'll see, I'll see, right? I'll try, but not from next week. I'll try to like make a small collection of things so that uh, I can just use them when I want instead of, uh, instead of trying to find one every week. Because that's what I do at the moment. Right now, I have to think of movie quote of the week every week. And I always say that I'm gonna do it on the weekend. And I always end up not having enough time and I have to think about it usually one hour before I start the stream. And I, and I don't like that. I always feel very pressured to think of, uh, of something. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's carry on. Shot, right? So a shot very simply means uh, a photo, right? So I took a lot of great shots today, right? So uh, I, I took a lot of great shots. It can be a photo or it can be clips, like video clips, right? So, so I, can, I, can, I can record you. Right, and after the scene finishes, and say, "Yeah, that was a great shot." Right, so it can be a video too. Some, it's not uncommon to be used for a video. So, photos or videos, a shot or shots. Da -da 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 -da. Next word is taste in music. Your taste in music. Nobody, nobody's saying anything. Your choice, okay, okay. Uh, choice, 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 choice. Uh, I wouldn't say choice. I would say your sense, right? Your sense in uh, in music. Um, it's similar to your taste in fashion, right? Your sense about your fashion, because you can say your taste in. Fa you can use taste for fashion too, right? I like your taste in whatever. I like your taste in movies. I like your taste in uh, books. I like your uh, I like your taste uh, in fashion. I like your taste in music, right? So b your sense about something, right? What uh, what makes things from your point of view look good for you, right? That is your taste in something. Tension. I have a lot of tension in my neck. I need to get a massage. I have a lot of tension in my neck. I need to get a massage. So tension is uh, usually when your muscles are very are very uh, stretched, right? And they're tense. We call it tension. So when they're, when your muscles are not relaxed, right? If you're relaxed, you're not really tense. You should not have tension if you're relaxed. Um, People get tension when they are not relaxed. And you can even see it um, in a piece of rope or, uh, or an elastic or rubber band. You know, when you hold a rubber band and you stretch it, you stretch it, you stretch it as far as it can go. That, you know how it becomes very hard to sort of move? Because it's stretched as far as it can go, right? So you can't really, you can't change how it looks. We call that tension because it, it has a lot of tension right now. It's, it's pulled to the max and all the muscles or the fibers are all very tense. They're very rigid, not soft and relaxed and malleable. Um, that's pretty much it. That's tension, right? So it's very common. I get this myself, right? It's very common to get uh, sometimes 
uh, a tense neck or to have some tension in your shoulders um, or something like that. It can happen for many reasons. It can happen for stress. It can happen for maybe you moved in a wrong way or you had a, you slept in a, in, a, in, a, in a wrong position or something like that. But that's basically tension. A theme, the theme of Unit 7 is art and music. The theme of Unit 7 is art and music. Uh, no, not pain, Louisa, not pain. Um, but it's, it's usually uncomfortable, right? It's usually uncomfortable. So the theme, very simply, you can think about the theme as the main subject or the main idea, right? The main, um, the main feeling that you want in something. So for example, it says here, the theme of Unit 7 is art and music. And that's true. If you go to Unit 7, this is the theme of Unit 7. So if you notice, the vocabulary is all related to art and music. Um, a lot of the speaking topics, if we open up the speaking topics in Unit 7, most of them, um, you will find them related to art and music. Um, reading, see, two songwriters. The reading topics in Unit 7 are about art and music. Um, at the gallery, favorite music. So the listening um, practices and the listening um, exercises in Unit 7 are about art and music. So that's it, right? This is what we mean. The theme of Unit 7 is basically art and music. The general topic, the mo, the not the. I think Judith means motif, right? Not motive, because motive has a different meaning in English. But motif, if that's what you're meaning, Judith, then yes, I know what that word means. So you're right. It's the motif, not motive. Motif. Um, but yeah, the general, the general feel, right? The general focus point, the general uh, idea. That's uh, that's basically what we mean by a theme. Upbeat. So upbeat is uh, is again it's a it's a style or a genre of music, and um, very simply, if you want to uh, if you want to think about it. Sorry, excuse me. Um, if something is upbeat, that means it makes you feel good, right? Upbeat uh, music, upbeat uh, rhythms, upbeat beats, whatever it is, right? Upbeat just means it's something that it's not sad, right? It's definitely not sad. It can't be sad, uh, and then you you you, you want to describe it as upbeat. That doesn't work, right? So it has to be happy. It has to make you it has to make you want to like feel good, and you want to jump around and dance and move and stuff, and just generally feel happy and good, right? We call this upbeat music. And you can even use it to describe someone's personality. He has a very upbeat personality, right? Like he, he, he's always happy and he's always like, you know what I mean? That's, that's basically what it means to be upbeat. And ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. Yes. So we came to the end of the class. It's already over two hours. So uh, I'm not going to go, <laughs> I'm not going to go over any exercises today with you guys. Um, besides, you've been giving me a lot of uh, examples in the chat, and I think um, as long as you get the meaning, right? Vocabulary is not a big deal because it's just meanings of words. Um, so I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to waste any more time uh, of your time today um, with any uh, with any exercises. Um, <clears throat> so let me uh, end quickly because uh, what is the time now? Da, 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 da. Yeah, my wife is probably wondering where I am right now. Uh, <laughs> so I'll finish quickly, and then uh, and then uh, I'll give you movie quote of the week. Of course, uh, give uh, Summer a chance to uh, to reclaim her title, and uh, and then I'll let you guys fly away. So as usual, please don't forget you guys are watching this on Smart, uh, not Smart English with Kareem. You're watching this on Smart English, right? So please, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell button. We uh, we have videos every week, Kent and I. So um, please come and, uh, come and join the family. If uh, you've missed any of the older videos, you can find all of them down there. There's, there's some great videos by, uh, by teachers that used to teach on SMART before and before I came. Um, so please check them out. I'm sure you'll find something that, uh, that will fit your needs or what you're looking for. Um, you can also go all the way down to the page, find my face, and bam, 
on my face and it will take you to smart english with kareem um come and join me over there too subscribe hit the bell button i try to put small videos um as much as i can i know i've been busy lately i know i know i know believe me i know but uh, but come and join right things will get better i promise things will get better and uh, if you're interested my food af channel so if you like food if you like to eat if you need to eat come to my channel you might uh, learn how to make an interesting dish so uh, i love it if you guys subscribe and hit the bell notification button on my channel too you absolutely don't have to but uh, it would be nice be nice um, and that's it so i appreciate uh, all the love that you guys show me over there too it's really really uh, really cool so thank you for that please don't forget we have a facebook group learn english on facebook with smart um, smart of course is SMRT I highly recommend that you join this group you guys it's a very active group people are always uh, posting stuff talking to each other asking questions um, and helping each other out it's a really nice active uh, group um, and we maintain it pretty well right so if, if anybody's offensive or something like that it's it's by membership only so uh, we only keep everyone who is nice and uh, and by, by by nice I mean nice to your other fellow um, uh, classmates if you want to call yourself classmates so um, please come and join us over there I'm sure you guys will like it also let me give you my discord link so you guys can come and join the chat on discord what's going on oh you guys are welcome you guys are welcome you don't need to thank me thank you for making my Wednesdays awesome sauce I always look forward to Wednesdays now um, so that's the link i put it in the chat click on that it will take you to the discord page you guys can come and join us um we have fun in the chat too you know as you can see people are having a back and forth and we're talking back and forth and stuff and everything it's uh it's pretty nice i think some some people uh, posted some food videos from some things that i made there we go <laughs> so it's nice right it's growing slowly but it's growing and uh, i think it's going to be a very cool place to hang out so come and join us over there just click on the link it's uh, it's free to make uh, to register and uh, come and join the family over there too and that is uh, i think i think i think pretty much it so bam 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 so let's uh, let's do movie quote of the week Uh, I won't miss that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I know. I know. You're never. You're. You're always there, Rosa. So I'm sure when you're when you're not there, I know that there's a very good reason for it. Trust me. Um, I mean, you. 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 You did not miss the class when you were in hospital, which is very, very impressive. So I know when you don't show up, I definitely know that you have a good reason. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Um, you guys are very. Oh, you're welcome, Judith. You're very, 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 very welcome. Thank you, Mohammed. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, Okay, so I'll do movie quote of the week. I'll, uh, as usual, if you guys are new, if this is your first lesson today, if you know the movie that I'm going to talk about, please don't tell me what it is now in the chat, right? So please don't type it in the chat. Um, wait, usually after I say goodbye, I play some music for one minute and then I close the video. After I close the video, you can type in the comment section below the video. So please put your answer there. Don't put it in the chat. I will ignore it. Um, and you're also going to help the other people compete against you. So it's not going to help you out, right? So please put it in the uh, comment section under the video after it is done. So, uh, so let me take it out off screen. And, uh, and then, and then I'll, 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 uh, I'll put it back um, after I say the, uh, the quote. Okay, so this is a classic. This is a super classic quote. Uh, let's see how fast you guys... Uh, uh, yeah, I can't play your song today, Julian. So fix, fix the settings and I'll start playing it from next week. Uh, but, uh, but, but, but please, yeah, please fix it. Ahmed, oh, hi, Ahmed. Uh, I didn't see you there. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And thanks for coming. I didn't see you though in the class today. But uh, if you were watching, that's totally fine. Thanks, for, uh, thanks very much for coming. And Manish. Hello, Manish. Okay, so here we go. This is the movie quote. Let me just check. You guys can see me, right? You guys can see me? Yeah, you guys can see me. Okay. So this is the movie quote uh, for, for, uh, for today. So this is a, so it's a very short line. One man is uh, saying this line. And I just want you to imagine he is holding, um, he's holding some kind of uh, machine gun in his hand, right? So a, a machine gun in his hand, right? 
So uh, this is super famous. You, you guys should know this. Or I'm just super old. It's, it's one of the two things. It's super famous or I'm super old. But, <laughs> but we'll see. So I'll say the quote, and then I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see it for a second, and then uh, I'll take it out. So here it goes. So he's holding a machine gun, and then he says, Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, man. I, I can't help laughing every time I do these. Whoops, I dropped my mic. All right, so I'll do it one more time. So here we go. Say hello to my little friend. And then uh, that was a really bad impression, but but you get the idea, right? So that's that's the movie impre movie uh, quote of the week. This is uh, this is basically it. I'll put it up on the screen so you can see what I said. Say hello to my little friend, and uh, and that's it. Yeah, Julian, I was ex I was suspecting that you would know it, Julian. I would have been shocked if you didn't. So okay, I don't need. Uh, let's go big. Let's go big. There we go. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll let you guys fly away now. It's been, it's a really long lesson today. Vocabulary lessons are always so long. Um, so um, next Wednesday, same time, 3 p.m. Please uh, check your times because we had uh, daylight savings in Vancouver. So the, the time in Vancouver moved one hour ahead. Um, for me, it's still the same. I still do the classes at 3 p.m. Vancouver time, but, uh, but you guys need to check or update uh, what the new time zones are or the time differences are. Um, and that's it. So next Wednesday, I'll see you at the same time, 3 p.m. And uh, until I see you next time, I hope you guys uh, have a great week. Um, so that's it. So until I see you next time, Julian, don't forget to change your song settings so I can play your music. And uh, until then, good morning, a good evening, and a good night. Shapow!